Welcome to part two of the aluminium bonnet build for um, this Mark III Capri. So this is basically where we left off uh, with you last week. We've got the centre of the hump is basically formed up. It's still roughed out, we've still got lots of work to polish it off, finalise the shapes and all that sort of stuff. But we've roughed it out and we've got most of the metal moved to where we want it to. So um, in this video we're going to be going over uh, forming up the left hand side of this bonnet. There's a, a body line that runs through that and, and a bit of a reverse. So we'll um, Let's get into the video and we'll um, show you how we get this line formed up. So before we started recording here this morning, I'd already marked out this aluminium sheet where we're going to put this fold line in across the uh, front to the back of the bonnet here where the swage line is. So that was done using some masking tape which I put across the back of the original bonnet and just marked with a, a thin pen where the centre of the bonnet was and where the, uh, the beginning of the swage line is. Uh, done that on the front and the back of the original bonnet and then transferred that through to the aluminium So we've got an injury line to join it up. So we know exactly where to uh, put this fold line in um, When you look at the bonnet, it looks very very straight. We think it's probably About a mil or two uh, off of off of dead straight um, So we'll adjust that line a bit further down the track if we have to we'll, we'll see how what the visual sort of tells us when it's on the car So at this point we're just putting the uh, sheet in our folder here and we're just going to break the line. We're not going to bend a 90 degree bend in it. We're just going to just just break the break the line, check it out, have a look at it, assess whether we need to put more of a line into it, or uh, go over to our bar to sort of start creating the reverse. So we've just carried the sheet over to another area of the workshop. We've got a piece of solid bar fed through the pole max just to support the bar. And uh, I don't know if you can see in the video, we've got a piece of timber. It's a, I think it's a bit of hand banister or, or hand rail. I just taped it to that solid bar. It's got a really nice profile on it. It's sort of like an elliptical, which sort of suits what we're doing here quite well. So we just line up the uh, the body line that we just folded on the on the folder, and we basically just try and push down and form some of this uh, reverse. It's a bit of a um, non-engineering solution to the problem, but it's uh, sometimes you've got to. Uh, Got to do what you do to do to make it kind of happen, and we'll, uh, we'll finish things afterwards. So we just basically push down, and it just starts to form that reverse. It's not that easy to um, try and match. There's two of us working here, but I'm, I'm also trying to support the sheet. It was not that easy to try and push down at the same time. So I think Peter wants to put a bit more pressure down at the front, so we swap ends, and uh, I'll support the sheet while Peter's putting pushing the front of the uh, bonnet down to try and get the amount of bend. So equal from front to back. So you can see there we've got reverse starting to form up. I think we still need more depth there, but you can't do all this in one hit. It'll be a case of going to the folder, back onto this bar, you know, two backwards and forwards, um, maybe two, three, four times, just to uh, move it a little bit at a time, and then uh, just keep checking with the profile gauge until we get the depth we want. So here's Peter just using a profile gauge just to take a, a profile of the uh, reverse there and just checking on our progress here seeing how we go and we've just already just off camera just um, put a little bit more of a fold on it to see sort of trying to even it up a little bit get some more depth to that uh, that reverse transferred over to our English wheel here Pete has already put a, uh, a sharp wheel in, in the lower end wheel and tip, tipped it up on the edge so we can uh, we can work that as close to that profile line as you possibly can get without doing any damage so here we're just going very very slowly just trying to stretch that metal a little bit just where that line has just been formed not going too crazy just um you can feel when you when you move the uh, aluminium through the through the wheel you can feel it where it's tight or where it needs to be pushed or pulled a little bit extra over on the big sandbag here now so i need to um start to put some shape into this this area now obviously running the aluminium through the folder uh, does a great job of putting a nice straight line on it but it also flattens out the bonnet it takes all the shape out of it so we've got to start to uh, move the metal with a bit of shape without actually stretching the metal so uh, Peter's just changing the uh, support here with an extra sandbag and then we'll um, he'll run up and down that profile with that timber mallet and just uh, try and stretch the metal down sorry for the bad camera angle here I um didn't uh, think to move, move it but uh, so Peter's just working this whole area here from front to back and then we'll fill it by hand and just sort of start to get some of that shape back into it 
So in the back in the wheel here, and uh, we're just starting to form this line up. You can see it's very, very straight, very horizontal. So Peter's just starting to pull down towards the front of the bonnet and pull down more and more. And we're just trying to put the shape back into the bonnet how it should be. Swap sides and uh, just trying to control this line and just get this area right. Just wheeling through the entire panel now just to uh, even it up. You can see the uh, the edge there needs, needs a little bit of work, it's a little bit loose. We're still working that edge there. Just working the area near the swage line, just trying to get it up. Try and fill, it, fill in the panel in the centre. Just working our way slowly across the sheet here. A little bit extra work required in the middle there. You can see there's a bit, uh, a little bit of metal missing there. Just trying to bring that area up. So we're just about to switch over to the sandbag here. Just sit back and enjoy the rest of the process. So we're just checking the final shape here with the sweep, which matches the profile of the bonnet. So after this was done, I uh, marked out the edge of the bonnet and uh, we turned that edge down just by 45 degrees just to lock that in, run it through the shrinker to shape that up. And that's as far as we're going to uh, go to uh, today. So this is the um, end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't done already, please like, please hit the uh, subscribe button and uh, we'll see you guys soon.